Now you've clicked on the headline and if I start this video by saying that I do like customizing my iPhone, I'm sure that Android fans will laugh at my face. And their reaction wouldn't be wrong either considering the iPhone has always been part of a closed ecosystem and has a very rigid UI design. However, with lock screen customization, home screen widgets and a few tricks inside the shortcuts app, I could create this. If you've shifted recently from an Android phone to an iPhone, that's the great offers that were available during Diwali, then I have some few tricks up my sleeve to help you customize your iPhone. But keep your expectations in check and don't expect these customizations to be at Android's level. All right, if you don't know me yet, I'm Ashad. You're watching Track and Tech English. Let's get down to some tinkering, shall we? First things first, download these apps from the App Store, Yidjet, look up and Vigi and we'll get started. Secondly, download this wallpaper. I will have a link for all the assets inside a Google Drive in the description below. The wallpaper that you choose should have these two hex codes, one for the light mode and one for dark mode, at least at the bottom covering the dock because that will make the dock transparent. And I'll show you how that looks later, but first let's set up the lock screen. So let me start from scratch. I've gotten into lock screen customization mode and I'm gonna add a new lock screen and I'm going to go and pick the wallpaper that I mentioned. Now that we have our wallpaper, you can choose whatever font you prefer. I like this one specifically for my theme and I'll keep it, you know, plain Jane as well. Now we'll come to the lock screen widgets and the lock screen widgets that I've chosen for this one. Firstly is Lookup. So Lookup is this fantastic dictionary app which has a lock screen widget where you will get one word and it's a definition every day. So you can learn a new word every day. The next widget I'm going to be adding is from this very good, possibly the best widget customization app on the app store right now, Vigi. So on Vigi, what I've chosen is for it to open YouTube for me directly, but you can choose whatever you want. Let me quickly show you how that looks. So if you open the VG app, you'll see that there are a bunch of options that are available for you and you can pick whatever lock screen widget that you prefer, whether it's in circular form or in rectangular form. So the final lock screen widget that I have used is the Cred UPI app because then I can directly make the UPI payments from the lock screen itself. Now our lock screen is set up, but for the home screen, ensure that blur is off because that is very vital. It has to be the same wallpaper that's being used. So these customization videos take a lot of effort for us to create so don't forget to give us your love and support by hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get notified whenever we put out an awesome new tech video now moving on you'll notice that i have entered the home screen and every single icon that was there on the home screen has been completely removed you need to do that as well including the apps on the dock as well the other thing you need to ensure is that from your home screen option in settings you have to switch off the toggle for show on home screen for search so you'll get this blank canvas and the dock is transparent too, primarily because of, you know, the wallpaper that we've used. Also for this particular setup, I have used the dark mode, but you can use the light mode and a light wallpaper with the hex code that I specifically mentioned. When you start setting up the home screen, the first thing that you need is a blank widget on top for which I use the Yidget app. So the first thing that you need to do is actually take a screenshot so that the Yidget app can use that wallpaper and make a transparent widget with sort of overlays on top of it. Next, you open up Yidget and from there you will see that you have to hit the create button and feed in that screenshot so that it can create a, you know, transparent widgets for you. And you'll see the blank template that's available and you can move around according to the medium large widget size that you prefer. Now you add the blank widget for which you need to go to the widgets Hit this and I'm picking out a medium widget and adding the widget. So now I've placed this widget, this blank widget on top. You'll see that there's actually a wiggly icon out here and I can remove that widget. This is a transparent widget and this ensures that you can create, get that space on top, which is empty. So next up, I had added a really cool date, day, time widget. And for that, again, I'd use the Vigi app and that was a transparent widget as well. Now you open the Vigi app and you go to explore. And from explore, what I want you to do is search for the half day widget. Now that you found the half day widget, you'll see that it's got a transparent PNG like design. I've already imported it, but you need to import it. After that, go to manage, open up medium, you know, one, and then import this specific widget. I have a bunch of transparent widgets that I've downloaded, but I'll use this one and I will place it in the middle because you know, the top space is of course a blank widget right now. So I hit, you know, check mark. And once we've done that, we have to go to again, add a new widget on this screen. You search for the Vigi widgets, move it around, place it in the center and voila, it's done. But a couple of problems that exist with the Vigi widget right now is that 
that label vigi label you cannot remove it i went on every single forum out there i couldn't find a way to remove it the other problem is that if you want more small medium large slots unlocked you have to pay 449 for the small medium large slots and if you want more lock screen slots unlocked then you have to pay 349 rupees more now we come to the slightly complicated part of this whole exercise and that is installing a custom icon pack it's very easy on android on skins that support it but on ios it's a huge work around let me show you how that's done so first thing that you need to do is download the icon pack from the g drive that i've added in the description once you've done that open the shortcuts app now that shortcuts is open you need to create a new shortcut go to add action and you'll see the scripting option out here from here you say open app or you just search for open app and now i'm going to add the first icon which is for the phone app obviously i need to make phone calls so that's going to be the first one so then i hit app search for the app which is phone once i've selected phone what i need to do is hit this share button at the bottom out here go to add to home screen and hit this tiny little icon choose the file that i need and that is of course the icon pack that i want so i search for phone i found the icon picked it rename this shortcut to phone so what this now becomes is a home screen shortcut hit add done and voila as simple as that now you can repeat this same process over and over again for three different apps or more apps of your choice so that's it our setup is ready it does take some effort but i feel like the end result is worth it now if you're lazy to go through that whole process then you can use wallpaper pairs one for the home screen one for the lock screen and they make for a great setup as well for example the spider man one that i have out here it is really really cool i'll just quickly show you how that looks so when you open this slowly like this and look at that change it looks damn cool right there are really cool wallpaper pairs like these that you can use and enhance your setup these sort of customizations are really fun to make look at the difference that it creates at the kind of visual you know elegance that it adds when you sort of put in that effort i think it looks really good do try it out for yourself even make your own customizations and share them with me in the comment section below by the way i hear all android fans around in my head coughing <coughs> kwgt kwgt i know i know anyway For iOS customizations I think this is something that I enjoyed doing. Did you guys like it? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time this is Ashad signing off. Keep tracking and stay safe.